is a gentleman from Monroe County, Mr. Scavello. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. House Bill 48, printers number 23, requires individuals practicing prosthetics, orthotics, pedotrics, and orthotic fitting to be licensed with the Pennsylvania State Board of Medicine. The board will be responsible for regulating these professions and licensing qualified candidates. High-tech prosthetics and other devices have created a strong, immediate need for oversight for these providing prosthetic, orthotic, and pedotic services. The language in this bill is the product of over six years of committee work, and therefore there is no known opposition to this legislation. Today, Mr. C Sean Bream, who is 15 years old, is here above in the balcony. His father, his older brother, and his grandparents are also here. Sean's mother was unable to make it today, but no, we know that she's here in spirit. Sean is a very smart, healthy, active young man who is also quad numeral amputee. Six years ago, a soccer practice, he fell when somebody tripped him. Later that evening, his foot began to really hurt, so mom and dad took him to the doctor. His foot was x-rayed, and it was determined that he had a sprain. Early the next mo morning, he developed a compartment syndrome and cespus. Sean spent over three months in the hospital fighting for his life. His recovery came with a price. In order, to, in order to live, both of his legs had to be amputated below the knee. Doctors all, also amputated his right hand, his four fingers from his left hand. Sean and his family know the value of having high qualified people fitting prosthesis. In fact, Sean testified on behalf of the legislation at a hearing at the Professional Licensure Committee held last session. House Bill 48 will assure the public that a licensed practitioner has met certain standards to practice his or her profession with a high degree of skill and diligence. Aggrieved or injured individuals will have a state board in which to file complaints against unscrupulous or incompetent practitioners. Most importantly, many of our war, injured war veterans will benefit from enactment of this legislation. I want to thank all of the chairmen that we've had in the last past past years, especially Chairperson uh, Julie Harhart, who helped move this bill along, and Mike McGee from last session. Please show your support by voting affirmative on House Bill 48. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.